Hi, it's Ridley really X-Man from Magic Knight 2.5 here at the world famous San Diego Zoo for Jungle Bells. It's a huge family celebration for the holidays right here in beautiful San Diego. In fact, we're hanging out with Ambassador Rick or Zookeeper Rick. How you doing? Good, man. Good to have you. Hey, thanks Welcome. for having us. Tell us about Jungle Bells and what that's all about. Well, you know, it kicks off this coming weekend. It goes all the way to January 2nd. The only day we're not having it is going to be Christmas Eve, because uh, we do have Santa here, of course, but apparently he's got to leave early on Christmas Eve for something, so we're going to close down early that day, too. But otherwise, we're open until 8 o'clock. We've got decorations everywhere, animals out and about, lots of cool food, lots of great stuff if you need Christmas shopping done the last minute, so it's going to be a great time. But, you know, for Jungle Bells, we have launching this week, uh, you know, all sorts of events all over the place, including Up Close Encounters with Animals. I mean, these guys are great. Giraffes are one of my favorites. Uh, great personalities. I love to watch them move. I had the opportunity to be in Africa last year and I'd see so many of these animals, and they're just beautiful. Uh, not only just, you know, you look at these giant yeah, so eyes, uh, their facial structure, but the way they move and the, the family uh, dynamics of the herd. <laughs> Now, before we head down to Albert's for some snacks and some great food, we wanted to come and check out the Meerkats because we want to give them some snacks. And we're hanging out with Rick once again, our ambassador, our zookeeper, who could tell us a little bit about the Meerkats. Yeah, we have four Meerkats in here, and these are our ambassadors also. They were hand-raised in our nursery, which allows us to keep working with them every single day since they're babies. So those of us that are considered to be part of their family can take them out for educational programs. But like you mentioned, we do have to keep our appointment at Albert's. We'll get some really good food that we're having for Jungle Bells. But I wanted you to have the opportunity to give these guys a little snack. So go ahead and put your hand out for me. And these guys get a little holiday treat too. Here you go. And just drop it in there? Yeah, just drop it in there. There you go. <laughs> Scatter around a little more. There we go. Now keep in mind, you know, our meerkats do have a very specific and special diet. These are mealworms, which are part of their diet. <laughs> See that? Feeding time at the zoo with the meerkats. Going on a little adventure here at the world famous San Diego Zoo for Jungle Bells. In fact, we're hanging out at Dr. Zoolittle's place. And uh, tell us about that. Well, we're actually in the Clark Theater here in the Children's Zoo at the San Diego Zoo. And Dr. Zoolittle has decked the halls, quite obviously, very well. And he's going to be doing a special story time towards the night before Christmas, but it will be zoo style. And for those of you who know Dr. Zulu, he's hilarious. It's great fun for the entire family. Sit down, relax a little bit, and have a good laugh. And tell us about your friend. Well, this is Rogelio. Hi, Rogelio. Rogelio is a thick-billed parrot, and this species at one time did live right here in the United States, but they also live in Mexico. In fact, that's the last stronghold. They are an endangered species. We have a breeding program up at our safari park for them. But Rogelio here is a great ambassador to show people up close and personal not only these beautiful birds, but the fact that we did once have parrots right here in the United States. Jungle Bells! We're here at the World Famous San Diego Zoo hanging out with Ambassador Rick, Zookeeper Rick, and we're here for some great shopping ideas for the holidays. In fact, we're at the kids' store. Tell us about the kids' store and what's going on. Well, you know, a kids' store always has really awesome gifts that you can only get at the San Diego Zoo. But for the season, like these guys here, we have a few things that are just for Jungle Bells only. So you got to come down and check them out. we got the Santa hat guys going on here. We've got some really cool ornaments. Some of my favorite ornaments are actually right here in this store. Uh, a lot of great gifts for mom and dad, too. Last-minute gift ideas as you're walking through. If you can't make it down, though, we do ask you to go to shopzoo.org. That has all the same items right there. Again, very unique stuff just for the holidays. Just for the holidays. So you can't find this anywhere else but right here at the world-famous San Diego Zoo for Jungle Bell. So bring the family and shop till you drop and enjoy <laughs> yourself. We're inside Albert's, a hidden gem here at the world famous San Diego Zoo, and uh, I can smell the food and it smells delicious. It did. This restaurant is outstanding, and it's funny, not too many people know about it, but it's been here for a while. We do promote it in our Zoo News magazine, but when people do find it, they tell everybody they know, and the food here is outstanding. I was telling you earlier as we are walking down here, a lot of the menu is kind of seasonal because we try to keep the food as fresh as possible, locally grown if possible too, so it's a little bit different every time you're here and the food is so good. For the holidays, for Jungle Bells, we're offering up <coughs> excuse me, our $6 menu. So for a happy holiday hour, if you will, we're going to be having a $6 menu from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. every evening. And everything on this table is what's going to be on that. Your pot stickers, your pumice. So we have some wonderful beer and some uh, homemade drinks right here at the zoo. Uh, you come down here and, and you know, again, $6 a pop, it is so good and so much fun and a great ambiance too. Now you're also going to be having a scavenger hunt. Tell us about that. Well, yes, of course. You know, social media has taken off like crazy, whether you're on Twitter or Facebook or whatever the case may be, even Foursquare too. But for our Twitter and Facebook followers, there's a scavenger hunt going on. 
So if you log into at San Diego Zoo or uh, the Facebook San Diego Zoo, you can check out that scavenger hunt, be a part of that. There are a lot of cool giveaways and gifts and really fun things going on. Bring the family, let's have some fun here at the San Diego Zoo.